Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Seems like we've been waiting forever for Vega. Now, we've had so many rumors and so many price leaks leading up to the reveal today. Now, even up to a few days ago, I reported about a leak suggesting an 850 US price tag for Vega. Now, thankfully, AMD has finally given us official information on the Vega GPU. We now know the prices, release date, and some performance numbers of Vega. Now today marked the beginning of SIGGRAPH and we finally got the Vega news we've been waiting for. AMD for the last few years have been concentrating their GPU efforts on the budget markets with the release of the RX 480 and this year's RX 580. Vega marks the return of high-end gaming graphics for AMD. AMD has touted Vega to have architectural differences from Polaris and they say it offers an updated geometry and pixel engine, high bandwidth cache controller and it supports more data operations per cycle. Now reviewers just got their samples of Vega today so we're going to have to wait for benchmarks until August 14th when the non-disclosed agreement ends. AMD however did provide us with some benchmarks. They offered us some minimums and they did this by comparing G-Sync to FreeSync and they enjoyed roughly an 8 frames per second advantage. Now of course we're going to have to wait for those gaming benchmarks. The new RX Vega cards are meant to compete with the GTX 1070 and GTX 1080. Cards are going to start at $399 US and will be available starting in August. So today was basically a paper launch. RX Vega 56 is the cheapest of the lot and it has 56 compute units which equals 3584 stream processors. Now it will have a base clock of 1156 megahertz with a boost clock of 1471 megahertz. Add in 410 gigabytes of bandwidth, 8 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, and this card has a performance of 10.5 teraflops. Now, the power consumption on this card is 210 watts, and it is provided through an 8 and 6 pin power connector. Vega 56 competes directly with the GTX 1070. Next we have the full Vega 64 GPU. Now this card as the name suggests has 64 compute units which equals to 4096 stream processors. Now this card competes directly with the GTX 1080 and there's a limited edition brush metal air cooled model and a liquid cooled edition. The air cooled Vega 64 has a base of 247 megahertz and a boost of 1546 megahertz. The liquid cool edition Vega has a base clock of 1406 megahertz and a boost of 1677. Now both cards offer 484 gigabytes of memory bandwidth and 8 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. Now the liquid cool version has 13.7 teraflops of performance and the air cooled variant has 12.66 teraflops. Now liquid Vega consumes 345 watts and the air version consumes 295 watts. Now both cards use dual 8 pin power connectors. Now the liquid cooled Vega will be priced at 699 US dollars and the limited edition air version will be priced at 599. Now there's also a nano version of the RX 64 but at this time there's not many details available yet. Now the reference 64 Vega card will be priced at 499 US dollars. Now there's no difference between the reference version of the RX Vega 64 apart from the limited edition brush metal and the glowing R. Now Vega 64 will be available August 14th and Vega 56 will launch in September. AMD is banking on FreeSync and recently did some blind tests on the monitors. Now the resolution was set at 3440 by 1440p and they used a FreeSync and G-Sync monitor. Now AMD said Vega 64 does 53 to 76 frames per second and this is compared to the GTX 1080 which was running at 45 frames to 78 frames per second. Now some will say hey the GTX 1080 has a higher frame rate however the minimum is worse which would provide a less smooth gaming experience. AMD claims to have tested over a hundred games at 4k with them pushing more than 60 frames per second. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Price and power consumption. Now Vega does consume more power than the competition and is priced about the same with equal or slightly better performance. Now based on what we know thus far on Vega 56, 
I personally think it will compete nicely in performance and better than the 64 in power consumption. Vega 64 is not as clear cut for the price or the performance. As I was putting this video together, some news came out that tiled based rasterization has been disabled and it will be enabled at Vega's launch. Now this will also help on performance and of course that fine wine technology by AMD. Now AMD always increases performance over time. Now AMD is really counting on this FreeSync like I mentioned before and these monitors are cheaper than the G-Sync alternative and offer the same if not better performance so savings can be found here in getting an RX Vega GPU. Also AMD have some great promotions going on right now such as the Radeon Black Pack. Now this will give you a $200 discount off a 34 inch 1440p wide aspect ratio free sync monitor and a hundred dollars off a Ryzen 7 CPU and motherboard combo. Now they also have the Radeon Aqua Pack. Now this comes with a liquid cooled Vega 64 and you also get two free games plus a discounted monitor and CPU and motherboard options. Last but not least we have the Radeon Red Pack. Now it's similar to the Aqua Pack but this will cost just $499. It comes with a Radeon RX 56 and like the other packs you'll get two free games plus a discounted monitor, CPU and motherboard option. Now these discounts must be done at the checkout whether you're buying this online or in store as you buy your RX Vega. Now I don't think miners will be too interested in Vega 64 as it has a high power consumption. However, Vega 56 might appeal more to miners. We're going to have to wait and see the full performance that this card does with Ethereum mining. Now I guess time will tell and of course we're going to know a lot more on Vega as these benchmarks come in. Anyways, I really want to know what you guys think about the Vega line. What are your thoughts on the limited edition brush metal version of the RX Vega card? What are your thoughts on the liquid? With cool version what do you guys think about the price and performance and are you guys excited for vega or are you disappointed i really want to know what you guys think so please sound off below i ask you guys to like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one